just when you thought you've seen every single creature on Earth, we come up with something that is gonna totally blow your mind. The Marianas Trench is home to many creatures, both large and small, but every single one of them has something in common. And there's a good chance you've probably never seen them before. Number 10. The Atolla Jellyfish. This extremely rare deep sea jellyfish can be found in waters as deep as a thousand meters below the surface. They're also called the alarm jellyfish because these guys can produce their own light, which flashes blue every time they feel threatened. These flashing lights resemble those of police sirens, hence their nickname. Of course, a series of flashing lights wouldn't be enough to scare away any potential predator, so scientists believe that the Atolla jellyfish actually uses these flashes to attract predators rather than repel them. More specifically, predators that are right on top of the food chain. The idea here is to attract these predators that don't necessarily feed on them to scare off those predators that do. This flashy defense works because of the lack of any visible light at those depths, so any flash of light will surely attract any denizen of the deep that's on the lookout for an easy meal. Number 9. The Frilled Shark Okay, you all might have actually seen this one before because we've talked about him a few times. The frilled shark is a strange, prehistoric looking shark that lives in the open ocean and spends much of its time in deep, dark waters far below the sea's surface. Its long, cylindrical body reaches lengths of nearly 7 feet and its fins are placed far back on the body. The frilled shark gets its name from the frilly appearance of its gill slits and because of its unusual appearance, they're often called sea serpents. They are active predators who prefer eating squids and may lunge at potential prey, swallowing it whole, even if it is quite large. They have rows of long teeth, each with three long points that are perfect for snagging the soft bodies of this prey. It's believed that once its mouth caught something that there's no way of escaping. Well, except down the shark's throat, of course. Through the digestive system and out the other end, no longer looking what it used to be. Though they specialize on squids, field sharks are known to eat a variety of fishes and also other sharks. Now, information about them is quite limited as they're rarely encountered in the wild due to their ecology, so there's still a lot to be discovered about them. Number 8. The Lancet Fish With gaping fang jaws, enormous eyes, a sail fin, and a long slithery body, the Lancet Fish makes it on this list for its appearance alone. These fish are naked of scales, with skin covered in pores, and have a size of more than 7 feet long, getting the largest deep sea fishes of all time record. One weird thing about these fish, though, is that they're hermaphrodites, meaning they both have male and female sex organs. However, how they reproduce is still a complete mystery. Their flesh is watery and gelatinous, and generally not appetizing to humans, but other large predators like sharks, tuna, and fur seals aren't so picky. They're actually considered easy prey because they're not fast swimmers. And because they can't swim very fast, scientists suspect lancefish are ambush predators. They float quietly, camouflaging the water until unsuspecting prey comes near enough to strike. And OAA scientists are looking at the stomach contents of lancefish to understand their mysterious midwater food web. Food found in lancefish stomachs is often found in a nearly pristine state, barely digested. So they speculate that lancefish may eat as much as they can whenever they find food and then digest it later when they need it. Number 7. The Barrel Eye Fish Light is a rare and precious thing in the Marianas Trench. The ability to detect even a glimmer of sunshine can mean the difference between catching a meal and also being one. So, creatures of the trench, like the Barrel Eye Fish, evolve unusual features to use shreds of light to their advantage. How unusual, though? Well, for starters, this fish has a transparent head. Inside that head are two sensitive barrel-shaped eyes, which are more frequently pointed upwards, allowing the fish to see silhouettes of its prey. As for the clear head bit, scientists just believe this feature may simply allow the fish to collect just a little more light, which may give this strange animal a bit more of an advantage over its competition. The barrel eye fish wasn't even known to humans until 1939, when it was pulled from its habitat 762 meters below the surface. Even then, the specimens were less than ideal because they collapsed in the pressure change from deep to shallow. Now that researchers have access to deep diving remotely operated vehicles equipped with lights and cameras that can withstand the pressure, they're able to observe the barrel eye more closely. And yet this odd fish still holds many secrets, leaving scientists puzzling over its life cycle and reproduction patterns. Number 6. The Goblin Shark if you've ever seen the iconic movie Aliens, you've been haunted by dreams of toothy, bald creatures bursting from your chest and snapping at your face. Now, picture a shark with just such a face swimming around in the darkest, deepest seas. That's the Goblin Shark, an aptly named monstrosity from your worst nightmares. You're welcome. 
Goblin sharks have a protruding snout that looks like a pointy sword. Just below the snout are a set of protruding jaws that appear to be mismatched for the shark's face. It's kind of like if evolution spun the wheel of ugly and the goblin shark lost in the worst possible way. What's more, these sharks aren't your stereotypical gray color. Instead, their skin has a distinct pinkish hue. If you're ever in the water when a goblin shark passes by, you're gonna find yourself dwarfed in size. It can grow as big as 5.5 meters in length, but fortunately, you're unlikely to encounter such a beast. These sharks typically cruise way down to 920 meters, and the older they get, the deeper they dive. As with a lot of deep sea animals, science knows very little about goblin sharks. No one knows exactly how they reproduce, and a pregnant female has never been captured. So, much like the goblins of fairy tales, these fish remain a mysterious and fantastic example of just how diverse life on Earth can be. Number 5. The Telescope Octopus Like rays of the abyss, telescope octopuses float and dangle in the deepest currents of Earth's oceans. Unlike most octopuses, this one doesn't flit about on the sea floor. Instead, it drifts through the water column at depths greater than 2,000 meters, and it doesn't swim horizontally, but rather suspends itself vertically, perhaps to make it harder for deeper predators to see its shape. If you're lucky enough to spot a telescope octopus, you'd probably wonder if the underwater pressure was making you see things. Its body is so clear that it's nearly transparent, and between each of its eight tentacles is a delicate webbing that lends this species a ghostly shape. In that cellophane-like flesh, you'll see two protruding eyeballs, unlike those found in other octopuses. These eyes provide wider peripheral vision so that the octopus can see predators and prey alike. Kind of like something out of a sci-fi movie, those eyes also rotate, perhaps offering the creature an even better way to see through the darkness of its deep haven. Number 4. The Dumbo Octopus It's an octopus that Walt Disney would have invented for one of his animated films, and what modern Disney is probably going to sue the pants off of for copyright infringement. It is the Dumbo Octopus, which has cute little Dumbo the Elephant-like ears atop its 30-centimeter body. This adorable animal also has precious wiggly eyes and a delightful puckered mouth that only adds to its cartoonish looks. This octopus may look dainty, but it's actually durable enough to make it the deepest dwelling octopus known to science. It prefers to make its home all the way down between 2,987 and 3,962 meters. When you think of octopuses, you probably envision a bulbous mantle sprouting eight dangly tentacles. The Dumbo, however, falls into a category of so-called umbrella octopuses with webbed tentacles that give them, well, an umbrella appearance. The effect is something like a starfish with a balloon head emerging from the center. Unlike most octopuses, this species doesn't chomp and grind food with a beak-like mouth. Instead, it simply swallows its prey whole. So, if you happen to be on the Dumbo octopus's menu, it probably doesn't seem nearly as cute. Number 3. The Deep Sea Dragonfish if the Dumbo octopus is one of the most harmless-looking ocean animals, then the deep-sea dragonfish is the exact opposite. With oversized teeth and a face that only his mother would love, the dragonfish is an assassin of the unfathomable deep. Although it is a fish, it has no scales. Instead, it has slippery, slimy skin that resembles an eel's. Dragonfish, which are about 15 centimeters long, prefer to swim between 215 and 1,850 meters under the surface, where the waters are lightless and cold. Like many deepwater creatures, this species relies heavily on bioluminescent body parts, which leverage internal chemical reactions to produce an eerie glow. The fish may use this glow to communicate with other fish or to provide camouflage. It also dangles a lighted barbel, or whisker-like protrusion from its lower jaw. Other fish are then attracted to the barbel, mistaking it for an easy meal, but in a flash, the dragonfish gets lunch instead. Some dragonfish have also evolved the ability to produce a red glow, an unusual color of light for ocean dwellers. They may use their reddish hue to signal their brethren, but it's more likely that they're using the red lamp to illuminate prey just before launching an attack. And now it's time for today's best pick. Today's best pick is another submission from a subscriber, just like you. So if you find a weird photo online and want to know more about it, just send it on over to us and we'll look into it for you. Who knows? We might even feature it on a future video. With that said, number two, the Firefly Squid. The Firefly Squid is quite small, growing to only about three inches, but that tiny body is packed with special light-producing organs called photophores. These organs give the Firefly Squid the ability to emit light along its entire form, and the lights can be flashed in unison or alternated in an endless number of animated patterns. 
Experts believe that these various lab patterns serve a variety of purposes. They can be used to communicate with potential mates or rivals, and they may also be used to disguise the squid's shape and confuse predators, allowing it to escape. The firefly squid is also quite unique because it's the only squid in the world that has color vision. While most cephalopods only have one visual pigment, firefly squid have three. They also have a double-layered retina in the back of the eye. These adaptations for color vision may have evolved to enable firefly squid to distinguish between ambient light and bioluminescence, and to also help them decode the patterns of light created by other members of the species. And I'm actually gonna cut this off early today, folks, because I, uh, I kinda lost number one here, but let me tell you, it was cool. With that said, though, I do apologize for the abrupt stop here, but what was your favorite Marianas Trench creature? You ever found one washed up on the beach, or maybe even had a chance encounter while diving? Let us know in the comments below, I'd love to hear it. And with all that said and done, though, that is our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.